Hi guys, welcome in my channel, I'm Antonio and today I'm going to review Carsify Adapter. I already reviewed this product in Italian language but a lot of you asked me to review this product in English language and so here you are. This is my first video in English and I hope to explain correctly why we have to buy Carsify and what is Carsify, what we can find in package, the requirements to use it, how to set up this dongle in our car and how to buy it. I will start with the last point, how to buy it, you, as you can uh, read here, is a crowdfunding product, so you can find it uh, not on Kickstarter, but uh, they moved on uh, Indiegogo, and uh, Indiegogo is the same uh, crowdfunding platform uh, as Kickstarter. So, if you buy this uh, adapter, this dongle, at the end of this video, it will arrive uh, as soon as possible because the queue that you have to wait is very 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 short if you wait other people will uh, buy it and you have to wait more uh, days more weeks so buy it uh, at the end of this video to receive it uh, as soon as possible then go ahead with uh, the first real point, what is Carsify and why we have to buy it. As you can read, wireless Android auto adapter. Yes, because this um, dongle uh, um, allow you to use Android auto with, uh, without cable. So you don't need to attach your Android smartphone to your car and you can use Android auto wireless. Um, but uh, your car should uh, support already Android Auto with cable. If your car doesn't support Android Auto with cable, this adapter will not add Android Auto to your car. It uh, allows you to use it wireless, so without cable. So the requirements to use this, um, this dongle are basically two. An Android smartphone, as you have to use Android Auto via wireless, and uh, a car that supports Android Auto via cable. Okay, so if you have these two requirements, you can already buy it because it works for sure. Then, what we can find in the package? In the package, we can find a lot of things. The package is this is a very very small and uh, it contains a lot of things before um, to uh, show you the dongle i will show you that the package contains also instructions to set up it but i'm going to show you in this video okay and in dongle you can find in the package sorry you can find the uh, 3m stickers so you can attach uh, dongle uh, and uh, so while we, you while you are driving it won't move all around the car two usb cable one uh, type c type c and one uh, type c that is attached to the dongle and uh, normal uh, usb why you found two cable because for example my car has a normal uh, USB, but the newest car has a USB type C. So you have you haven't to buy new USB cable to use the, this dongle. As you, you uh, receive it, you can already use it. And the important uh, thing is the dongle. It is very elegant, very small, and it is uh, six centimeter and half per uh, three centimeter and a half per nine millimeters and uh, on side we can find only the um, usb type c and the other side it is uh, it has nothing and on the front side you can find the carsify logo a led and a button but i will explain you after the purpose of this button of this button yes so uh, start with the, the um, start with start to set up it this in our car the first thing to do is to turn on uh, our car so it is turned on then we have to attach this dongle to the um, our car with the usb provided in the package 
okay the blink will the led will uh, start to blink and our car nothing happened why because we have to set up it with the smartphone for this test i'm using uh, um galaxy a40 with android 9 uh, installed and the first thing to do on the smartphone is to install the carsify application then after we have installed it we have to open the Carsify application. The Carsify application allows us to do a lot of uh, configuration on this uh, dongle. The main uh, important for me is that we can enable, for example, split screen because my car doesn't support split screen, but with uh, this dongle I can enable it. So after we have opened Carsify application, it uh, says that we have to buy it, but in this case uh, we have already an adapter, so let's start. Yes, in this uh, screen we can add new device and uh, in this screen uh, Carsify application tells us that we have to enable the wireless Android Auto in the Android Auto application on our smartphone so we are going to click on open settings to enable the op developer option we have to click multiple time on version of Android Auto then in the uh, menu on top we can find the developer settings and we have to check add wireless projection to settings we already had this flag enabled if you don't have it enabled, enable it then return on Carsify application go to the bottom and click on next button after this, uh, uh, the application tells us that we have to start car engine and we are ready that it, so it already turned on. And we have to plug in Carsify adapter into the USB and we did it. As you can see, the smartphone is not connected with the cable, but is connected only the dongle. So go next. And uh, um, at the moment, uh, application is searching the dongle as you can see on the dongle there is a light that uh, blink and we have to wait uh, some seconds that uh, application find uh, the carsify adapter this is the first time that i connect uh, the smartphone to um, the adapter Okay, the smartphone, the application found the adapter that uh, we have to confirm to link with uh, Carsify. And then a uh, pairing request uh, appear on a smartphone and we have to confirm this too. And then at this moment, as you can see, USB cable is not connected to the smartphone. We have to wait some some seconds, few seconds to make this connection as he said you this is the first connection that i did with this smartphone in the italian review i did it with uh, a oneplus nord 2 okay as you can see on the smartphone a new android auto setup is started so okay what happened okay we we have to go next. So new request of Android Auto arrive again on our smartphone. We have to continue clicking on next button. And yeah, on the smartphone, on the car, Android Auto is started. As you can see, no cable attached to the car. As you can see in the notification, Android Auto connected to your car. Okay, just to show you that this dongle works like a bridge to bridge Android Auto wireless to your, uh, to your car. Now, what we have to do, nothing, we have to use Android Auto on, on our car, uh, our, our normal Android Auto, as if we connect with our uh, device with cable. 
but it's only wireless we can find all our applications so phone maps uh, uh, in this case also game uh, snacks and uh, and so on we can use uh, ok google in this case it doesn't work because it's not my main uh, smartphone okay okay it works okay google it's not my main uh, smartphone so something shouldn't work correctly because of this uh, but uh, with oneplus nord 2 that is my main smartphone it works uh, very very good you can find it uh, italian video in um, in description and uh, yeah for example what's the weather like in bari okay in this time the internet wouldn't work because as i said this is not my main uh, smartphone uh, i set up this uh, smartphone the first time with you but uh, internet works uh, correctly if you have a sim into the um, smartphone in this case i have not sim is my smartphone and uh, so i couldn't navigate on the internet um, and i'm not connected to wireless uh, network uh, the icon that you can see here is because android wireless uh, towards need to be connected to the dongle uh, with the uh, wi-fi and uh, bluetooth both so you if you want uh, to have uh, access to the internet you have to insert a sim with the data network to use it and i think that oh just as another thing the application as i said you the application allow you to customize the dongle so for example you can change the network the wi-fi networks that the dongle uh, create to make android auto wireless work and you can choose to use only 2.4 uh, gigahertz uh, wi-fi but i suggest you to keep disabled uh, these options uh, otherwise if your uh, smartphone doesn't support uh, uh, 5 gigahertz uh, wi-fi you should enable this then allow you to change the dpi of the screen so as i said you for example we can my screen doesn't support the split screen because it's an 8 inch but if you change the dpi you can uh, enable split screen i will show you after uh, i show you the application then you can disable the tap blockers yes it's very useful because for example uh, android auto block you on six uh, tap uh, consecu consecutively so uh, by enable this uh, option for example passenger can use android auto without any limitation you can enable the this option to start android auto automatically and uh, you have to do this by android auto the application explain you how to do it and uh, yeah there's an interesting option improve first connection yeah because we if you and this is an experimental uh, feature but if you enable it in five seconds and uh, also in four seconds your smartphone will connect to android auto the, the dongle and android auto it's available uh, on your screen so it's uh, a great feature and yeah you can update the firmware of dongle uh, by the application so you will receive all update that the product owner uh, release and then you can and then you can enable some uh, debug uh, option so if you have a problem you can uh, enable this uh, feature and send logs to the uh, developer and to the support of Carsify and support is fantastic they uh, help you um, and they fix all the problem that uh, you have and troubleshooting section is the same as uh, the bug and allow you to fix uh, some problem yeah so you can contact uh, support uh, and you can change a few settings uh, but 
uh, you don't need to change this you have to do this only if support uh, tell you to change uh, something of the settings so now i'm going to show you how to enable a split screen for example as you can see my android auto doesn't have a split screen and yes i'm going to put 100 as value because my screen need 100 to enable split screen then okay what happened on android auto it should uh, reboot and will enable uh, split screen okay it is uh, reboting the LED now is blue. It is rebooting now. It's uh, it is searching for uh, the smartphone. As you can see, the dongle restarted itself, and uh, split screen is now available in my car. So, for example, I can have music. Uh, up on the right side and maps on the left side and with the bar on the left side and not on bottom as uh, before i think that uh, this is all from from, from me i think uh, i hope that uh, i explain uh, how to use scarcify and why to buy it and uh, yeah this is uh, this is all if you have any questions, write uh, below in the comment. I'll try to answer for each one. Subscribe to the channel because uh, in next days and next week I will release new uh, review on um, a lot of interesting uh, products. Thank you for watching this video and uh, next time. Bye bye.